Alright, I think this is the last video we'll watch today. It's called Star Citizen Kraken's Interior from Astro Chronicles. If you guys don't know Astro, he makes like... I, I don't know what engine he makes these in, but he makes um, like Star Citizen like mods basically uh, for like ships. Like what they could be like, what they could look like. And just gets really creative with things and they're pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check out what the Kraken interior could look like. I'll have to move my cam again a little bit. The docking sleeve, all right. It's so big. Not gonna lie, see what he has here. Let me pause it. See what he has here with like the little, there's like little cargo things everywhere. Don't you think that the game should have, um, should have, uh, like, I don't know. If you need medical supplies, there should be like a place to store medical supplies near the hospital area of a ship. If it needs ammo, don't you think there should be cargo where you store ammo and then that should up the amount of ammo that you have for one of those things? So, yeah. Imagine convening with friends in this game and having things to discuss about where you're gonna go and what you're gonna do. Oh crap, having food for people. That'd be cool. You'd have to supply your ship with food so your friends can eat. Personal lockers for players, that would be pretty sick. It's so big. I think this is every org's dream ship. At least for me. This is this is the ship like for me this is the ship I want to earn in game more than any other ship. It's like a floating city. Like, based off of... I think he's using, like, in-game dimensions, too. Based off of all of this, dude, there's gotta be... They're gonna waste... They're gonna waste space, I feel like. Because a lot of what I'm seeing here is just, like, open corridors that are kind of wasted, right? How do you pack this thing? Uh, yeah, I'll lower the audio a bit. It does sound a bit loud. How's that? I mean, yeah, the, I mean, sh a ship like this needs or actual org mechanics, like org banks, or like the ability to spawn org ships and all sorts of stuff like that. I mean, this is the most imaginary ship. Pabs. Like, imagine having your own apartment in a ship. 
for a, a, a guild that you're in. Like, that's the level of insanity that this ship could be. Right? And that's what's cool about these videos. They spark that... That imagination about the game. It's, it's, it's to an, another level when you watch these videos. Move and deliver cargo to landing pads. Dragonfly Bay. Oh my god, the Dragonfly Bay. I remember that. I still I still don't see a great use case for dragonflies and all those things yet. This is the actual cargo deck. Which would just be massive. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that's a thing we can do is like separate cargo into certain areas. Since it's becoming more interactive with the uh with the cargo rework. So you need a an entire server to crew this thing. Listen, if you're thinking about Star Citizen with the current limitations on it, and and like as if that's going to be a thing forever, just quit now. Don't 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 buy. Don't do anything. Don't follow the project. Quit now, because you should not care about this game at all if you think it's going to stay the way that it is now. If you really believe it's going to stay the way that it is now, quit. Because it's, it cannot be, the game cannot happen if it stays the way that it does now. Period. So, having a ship that would be crewed by that many people has to be a thing. Otherwise, Star Citizen failed. And the doors would close anyway. Right? Like, if, you, if they don't achieve these goals and you're not able to crew an Idris, you're not able to crew a Javelin, you're not able to crew a Kraken, they should close the doors and it, it's over. Right? So... Quit while you're ahead if you really don't think it's it it might be possible. I don't know if it's possible. I'm hoping it will be. But I'm not going to say that it's not going to happen at all. Because I hope it'll still happen. And, and that's what I'm still excited about. With that mentality, should we all think about the same the same about ship balance too then? What are you even trying to get at? I'm talking about the possibilities of Star Citizen and its possibility of even being remotely what they hope to deliver. It's got nothing to do with balance and game. We're talking about tech technical possibilities. Pretty wild. I hope this is what medical facilities will be in our ships as well. Is they're not just a way to heal yourself, but they're also a way to distribute medical supplies to to your teammates on the ship. Bio room. Is this a bathroom or something else? That was like a science room. Hydroponics, water filtration, food production. Okay. In the next episode, bridge pad, hangers, quarters, science, dragonfly blade, and your suggestions. 
post below with your ideas. Oh my goodness. So, he's not even done. That's wild. Thank you, Astro. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and link his video for everybody. It's pretty cool. There's that video there. And, uh, yeah, it, in the end, these videos always, um, you know, they're obviously not the in-game ship and they're not what is possible and what's not and all that stuff, but it does, does trigger that, that imagine inside for sure. And, and is, uh, this again, this ship in particular is like kind of my dream ship. The two ships that I don't own that I am like absolutely in love with are the two carrier ships. The Kraken, because it just seems like a, a guild master or a organization leader's dream is to have a home base, but a mobile home base, right? It's like a space station that flies, basically. And then the, I, I forget the name of it always, is just the transport ship. The ship that just transports other ships is a miniature version of this. Uh, and uh, chat, I'm sure, will tell me what the name of that one is. It was, I think it was from Aegis or... or it was on last citizen con i believe the liberator yeah the liberator that's one of my favorite ships like by far because it's just so simple it's my friends come they land on my ship we hang out on there and we travel somewhere else and then we go do th more things right and i think it had the ability to like refuel and rearm and all that stuff so it, it it's just the perfect ship for playing with your friends and as somebody who plays with an org and likes to play with their friends it's just those ships are excite me more than ever and uh yeah so thank you again astro that was pretty fun to drive down imagine lane once again so i appreciate it